welcome to the SVR. How cool does that look? The plate suits the car, makes the car look what it should. Roars like a lion, it feels like a lion. What do you guys think? If you look closely at this car, I love the front bumper, so aggressive. And then you've got the SVR badge right there. It makes it look really boisterous. And these vents, black vents, the headlights. I would actually do something like this myself to it, you know, that to put like shadows on. It makes it look lovely. Then it's got these blown out 22 inch wheels with the blue Brembo calipers. The Brembo calipers actually put character to the car. The two-tone color looks amazing with these blown up side vents, these carbon fiber top bonnet vents, black gloss mirrors. It's just a good two-tone look. As we walk around the car, you can see how aggressive it looks. It's one of the better colors to have if you're not having black. Uh, all it needs is a carbon fiber bonnet. You get them in the upgrades. Um, also the darkened headlights, the back gloss strip on the back with the SVR badge. Like I said, the plate just makes the Jeep look like it should. And, you know, this is what we have here. I like the rear diffuser look. If you can see, it looks really lovely. The archers on it, it has got like blown out archers. You can see them. Let's just sit back a little bit here so you get a good view. There we go. What do we have there? A little lion cat coming to see the big cat in action. <laughs> right, so lovely looking Jeep. It looks what it is. It looks apart. It drives apart. It sounds apart. The only qualm I have for it, like I said, it's very, very thirsty. But overall, if you wanted a boy's toys to make that noise, then look no further. This is the beast. Yeah, I would say the beast from the Middle East, but right now it's in the West. So I'll say this is the best. Yeah. So, no, no DJ Khaled here. We are the best. We the best, baby. So yeah, nice Range Rover Sport. And I just really dig the colour. I love the stamps on the car. What do you guys think? Um, to me, it's a lovely beast of a whip. It's been reviewed many a times. You don't see many on the road, just like the M5. To me, both cars set a standard and it's just the way it is. The SVR, right? Okay, what can I tell you about this SVR? The M5, I'm gonna give you a comparison analogy when it comes to layman terms about buying these cars, driving these cars, and pressing these cars like this. Oh, wow. See, that, that's what you pay the premium for. That's what we're buying this car for, is the noise for the boys. It just sounds seriously, seriously naughty. It's a naughty, naughty sounding car. And to be fair, it's, it's something that you just want to keep throttling. You don't want to drive this slow. And that's the reason why it's a gas guzzler. It guzzles. Um, I'll give you a comparison to guzzling. If you're going to look at, in terms of guzzling, what it's doing on fuel economy, I'll tell you now. If you get this between 8 and 9 MPG on the streets, you're doing well. Because that's what you're going to get. 8 or 9 MPG. And I'll tell you what 8 or 9 MPG is in real terms, yeah? 8 or 9 MPG is this. You're putting in 10 pound fuel. 10 pound. It's nothing nowadays because the price of petrol is like near £1.50 for unleaded. If you're going to go super, that's gone sky high, £1.60. So realistically, you're going to put in £20 of fuel, drive it around the streets, you'll get about 20 miles. Yeah, 20 miles around the streets. Now, that is just extremely, extremely thirsty. My M5, I'll put £20 in and I'll drive it on a daily and it'll do me like 45 miles. If I go on the motorway, my M5 on £20 will do me um, 90 to 100 miles on the motorway, on the highway. This will do you 
no matter how nicely you drive it, how kindly you drive it, you know, you, you drive it like it's your best friend or you drive it like it's your worst enemy, you're not gonna get better than 20, 25 miles on a 10 pound, so 45 to 50. You're getting half the miles, half. You're getting half the miles, let that sink. Half the miles on an M5, which is thirsty. The M5 is not your average everyday petrol car. It's a 4.4 V8, 600 horsepower, turboed to death, three second supercar, yeah? That will do you 45 to 50 miles on 10 pound on the motorway. If you're doing 70 mile an hour, you can get 36, 37 MPG on the return on that, on the highway. This at best, I've had it 27 MPG, and on average, I've had it on 22 and a half on the highway. That's a massive difference, even though power-wise, the M5 and this, the M5 leaves it. This is okay up to about 60 mile an hour, but then the M5 just, just is in this element. And it sounds naughty than the M5. It sounds more throttle, more throaty, more roomy, more rooty but the M5 is just an M5. It makes you appreciate a supercar when it gives you that kind of return compared to a supercharger that basically, if you don't own a chain of petrol stations like the Ahmed brothers, you might as well just forget about it. So in front of me, I've got an X6M and um, I just, for whatever reason, you got an X6M and I still feel like I'm in the daddy because the sound on this makes you feel like you're the daddy. It's the car that's made for noise and nothing you drive, nothing you will have will sound better than the SVR. Simply put your foot down and make you feel alive. You feel like you're in the jungle and you've seen a gazelle and now it's time to hunt the prey. You're in freak mode, aren't you? couple of days trying to get this review done for you guys um, just want to let you know that the SVR is a, a really really nice place to be in in terms of prestige refinements you know it's like driving a Bentley in an SUV uh, it just gives you that same kind of charisma the same kind of feel you'd want from sitting in a, a very I don't know a very upmarket SUV but Reliability-wise, the Land Rovers are known not to be super reliable, but for some reason, this SVR, the supercharger ones, are okay. They're good. Um, and ultimately, down here, you can see the exhaust feature there that I've switched on, and it makes the car sound lovely. And when you... Oh, just that. Just that noise there. Just that noise. It makes it feel all worthwhile for you to enjoy this monstrous zero to 64 and a half seconds 510 horsepower we don't want to be breaking speed limits but that's the noise when you're playing one of the SVR toys it's amazing really nice that sound alone is what you're paying the premium for 
all the gas, all the fuel economy that goes out the window and everything else, just that boisterous, hands-on, full throttle response is just, it's beyond words. It's like a C63 of steroids. There we have it. That's my review. In terms of marks at a 10, fuel economy, I give it a four. Power, I give it a strong nine. Sound, I give it a 10. Overall, this car gets a seven out of 10. And the only reason seven out of 10 is because of the fuel economy. If it wasn't about the fuel economy, it's a nine and a half. Freak 